shouldn't really significantly affect the performance result. It's also limited in its DIT structure. Um, so, I mean, today people are moving towards the DC-based naming scheme. Um, but again, that shouldn't affect the performance, whether it's a country at the top or a DC at the top. Uh, so we thought that it didn't invalidate what we were doing. That's the uh, structure that we had with the country, then the organisation was the University of Salford, with a, a number of organisation units and a number of organisational people. And we, we built 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, 10 million. Uh, we, we originally we were going to do 100 million as well. But when you see the next uh, slide, you'll see why we couldn't get to 100 million. Um, and this was the time it took to load the directories um, with the LDIF files. And you can see that, well, we, we, the reason we gave up with, with uh, Novell was that Novell was uh, an order of magnitude longer on just the 10K results. And when we did the 10K performance test with Novell, it was also an order of magnitude slower. And so we thought, we'll give up. This, this is a non-starter. So we, that's why it's six and a bit tests, is because we started off with Novell, but we dropped it off pretty soon uh, after the start of the testing. Um, you can see we loaded, we loaded one million with all of them, um, but some of them, it just be, it was becoming impossible. Like with Active Directory, it was going to take over 20 days, we estimated, to actually load the 10 million in. Um, uh, critical Pass was going to take over 14 days. IBM, we estimated it would take 24 hours, but you, you, it, it never, we never managed to achieve it. IBM said, OK, it's too big. You have to block it up into a quarter of a million entries. So you load 250,000, then you load another 250,000. You just keep going like that, and eventually you'll get your, your temp. But it never worked. We got up to about 3 million, and then it just, just fell over and died. Uh, so we never managed to load 10 million with IBM. Um, similarly, with Open LDAP, um, and we talked to Kurt. Uh, and Zilenga and said, look, we just can't get it to work. And he says, oh, we've got to switch off all the indexing and load it first. So we switched off all the indexing. Uh, but it still, it still couldn't get it to, to, to work either. So in the end, we only got two directories that loaded 10 million entries. And that was Sun1, uh, the, the uh, iPlanet software, and the BT Syntegra one. And the BT Syntegra one was absolutely amazing. I mean, it only took under two hours to load 10 million, which is absolutely staggering. So. That one, we could have loaded the 100 million, but we, we ran out of disk space because you had to actually create all your LD files and then load them in, and we didn't have this. So, so in the end, we never managed to do the 100 million. But that would clearly, I think, the performance. Syntegra would have been the only one that was realistically to load 100 million entry uh, in it. And, it. and from the performance results, you see that Syntegra starts to win when you get up to large numbers. 10 million and above, Syntegra's probably the, the, the directory you want. Um, so what did testing we did? Simulated read, where you put in the distinguished name of the entry and you, you get the content back. Uh, pretty straightforward. And that, that for our prescription uh, application was what we needed because uh, in gen generally the, the pharmacist would actually know the distinguished name of the entry and you just go to the entry and read the prescription out. So we wouldn't need to do searches. So that was an important test for us. Uh, but we also did full sub research with, with exact match on common name and also with substring matching on both indexed and unindexed attributes to see what the difference was. Um, and then we added an organizational person entry and we added an uh, index and unindexed. Again, for our prescription, the prescription was going to be an entry on its own. So we would be adding entries to the direction and retrieving entries. So we needed to know the performance of adding and removing entries. And whether the indexed or unindexed, we, we knew that would make some performance difference. So we wanted to know what's the difference of, of adding entries when you've got large, large sizes. Uh, and then um, the final test was, a, was a, a mixed operation where it did a, it did a whole set. So directory market did like 50% searches and 10% modifies and 10% hours, 10% deletes. So this is on the last slide. And it just did a whole mix, which is so what we wanted to know for our particular environment. How would, how would the, the perform, how would it come out overall? So those are the, uh, the tests that we formed. So here's the, the results then for, first of all, just a basic read where you, you, go, you give it the DN, it's a, it's a base object, not doing any search, and just go to the base object, giving the attributes. And these are the number of operations per second. Well, they're actually all very healthy. You can't really criticise any of them other than Novell. I mean, Novell is, is nearly an order of magnitude worse uh, than, 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 than the best ones. And, uh, in fact, Open LDAP was, was, was about the best um, in, in that particular performance, which is, which is really good, because that's free, every can have it. Um, and it's got a really good performance in that particular test. But as I said, they're all very healthy. Um, you, and the other thing is, they didn't degrade with time, uh, with, with size. So we're really saying, what, it doesn't matter how big your directory is, you read the entry, you're going to get extremely good performance. You're sure that for 10 million entries. 
Um, the next thing now was a, a, a search uh, where we did a full subtree search. We go it, this was searching from the University of Salford. It said, find this common name, Joe Bloggs, or find whoever. And it would say, so again, the professors are really very healthy, aren't they? You're talking about, you know, one or two thousand operations per second. Um, and again, that doesn't seem to alter with size, except with Microsoft Active Directory, there was a tail off there. Um, but we did, because we didn't have 10 million, we don't know whether the tail off, whether it was just a blip or whether the tail, the tail off would continue. But most of them, they were pretty consistent. Um, and that's, that's an interesting result in itself. Uh, it means that the, the vendors have really got good, efficient, you know, binary chops or whatever for actually finding, finding stuff. So, um, next one, substrings. Match. Now this, this was actually, well it doesn't say in the paper, um, but it was actually leading substrings. So all the searches were leading substrings. In other words, search for David asterisk or David ch, asterisk, something like that. Uh, and the, the length of the substring was randomly set by, by the, uh, the, the software, so the directory map software. So it might have been five characters, six characters, seven characters, something substring, leading substring to, to find it. Um, and so the, the performance there for IBM is, is significantly worse, as you can see, than the other ones. But, but Active Directory's got good results. Syntegra's got good results. Uh, iPlanet's got good results. Um, so again, this is, this is very, very fast. So we're very, very pleased with the performances we're getting for, for, the, for the searching. Now, when the X500 standard was originally written, it actually said in the standard, this has been tailored for databases where there's a high retrieval and a low amount of updates. So they said it's not a relational database, it's not designed for general general updating, it's, it's going to be tailored that. And when we come on to the next test, which are the modifications, we'll see why, because they suddenly, boom, the performance drops fantastically uh, when, when we start to do modifications. Uh, so full substrate uh, on, on, on index. Now, this one, I can't explain this. Some directories were faster on unindexed and some were slow and that that to me it just scientifically didn't make sense i couldn't work i couldn't work it out why, why it was and i asked the guys i said look you've got something wrong with the test rerun the tests there's something wrong here uh, i didn't believe the results they were giving me actually um but the, they, they re-ran them and said no this is this is generally what we're getting and i thought i just don't understand how they can get a faster result with an unindexed attribute than with uh, than with an index one but anyway those are the results again all very very healthy performance results there um, so now we come on to add, uh, add with indexing, and the two in interesting things here. One is the performance is hugely worse. I mean, we've now gone from thousands of operations a second to tens of operations a second. So there's a couple of hundred, couple of orders of magnitude difference. But the other thing is that it really starts to drop off significantly with size as well. Whereas with the searching, it, the, the, the performance was constant. Didn't matter how big the database was, you're always getting the same performance. Now you're getting this huge drop off. Um, and the drop-off was varied between products. So you can see critical path dropped off the most. It, it was actually the best performer on the small sizes. But as it got bigger, its performance got progressively worse. Um, whereas um, the, the, the Syntegra one, the performance was more or less constant up to a million, and then it only started to drop off. So the, the drop-off varies very much from product to product. Um, so that was the, that's the sort of interesting factor from that one. But again, if, you know, 10 million, if you look at planet with a 10 million directory you can still do 11 ads a second um, when it's indexed that's still so I think it's still pretty, pretty reasonable uh, unindexed then it's obviously faster because they now they're not having to do all the indexing so you can see all the, all the speeds are faster um, uh, but the fast the speed difference was five percent to 240 percent that in itself is quite a strange result that there's a big variance in how much faster they manage to achieve it when they haven't got indexing. Um, and again, critical path comes out the best performer. It's an order of magnitude better than, than some and more. It's, it's like 20 times faster than, uh, than open LDAP. Uh, delete. Uh, again, delete is slow for indexed ones and with a significant drop-off in performance. Um, but it's faster than add. In all the cases, the, the, the delete is faster than the add. Um, the unindexed, much faster than the delete, which you'd expect because you're not meant to mess around with the indexing. Um, but uh, Syntegra actually only creates an indexed database, so we, we, we couldn't measure uh, delete with indexing because you can't switch off some, some of the basic indexing is always in there, so you can't, you can't actually switch that off. Um, so that's, that, that's the results of the unindexed ones.
um, modify uh, where we're actually modifying the attribute. This was this this can be important for directories where you just wanted to change change a particular attribute in there. And again, critical path came out the top uh, up to up to the size that we had a million entries, and uh, and the next one there was was I planet. And as I said at the bottom, huge variation in products here. You know, five thousand percent variation. If you notice with the search and the basic reads, there was very little variance between products. Maybe, well, okay, the, one of them was the the, the, uh, the Novell was an order of magnitude slow, but all the other products they were about much the same. You know, one thousand or two thousand operations. There's only a couple of uh, you know factor difference, but here huge difference uh, in the way they they do their their money. Yeah, question. Uh, I'm wondering if any of the developers. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, do you mean the page hand on the back end you used? Uh, that there's a mm. very new one, you, you heard that in San yeah. Francisco as well, the yeah, hierarchical yeah. data back end. And that is supposed to be as fast in writing as in, in, in reading. Yeah. So, so it would be very interesting to make these tests with uh, the HDB. Yes, backend. yes, yeah. In fact, we, yes, I, I accept your point. I mean, you have got a choice of back ends with, uh, with the OpenLD app, and I think the one we used was a Berkeley. Virtual database back in. Yeah. yeah. We use it in much faster. It is. Okay, so, so what you're saying is if you, if you change the, the back end, then you get a significant imp improvement. Uh, what about the reads? Do they, are they deteriorate or? You don't well, the, the, the reads are, are the same yeah. as, as in BDB, but the, the writes are far faster oh, right. uh, with the HTTP. Okay. okay. But, but, yeah. but th this is just in the um, developers. Uh, um, so, so in the stable version, it's not yet there, but right, but right. it soon yeah, we, will we, be. We, we did this test last year. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. So, so it, it it might be useful to yeah. to redo the OpenLDAP tests with the HDB backend. So that's a useful point for people to know anyway that OpenLDAP are, are addressing this particular problem. Um, and then unindexed uh, modifying unindexed one. Then this is that this is is faster. Uh, but there's still a huge variation between the products and you still get a drop off with size. So uh, that's what I expect. I expect on index to be faster. That's why that, that's, that, that search one, I, I couldn't understand it. Uh, then the final one's the mixed operations now. So we've got 50% search, 12% add, 10% delete, 16% modify, and 12% modify RDN. And now when you've got this big mix, we find that critical path comes out best for small size because that was always faster on the modifications. So whilst it was a little bit slower on the searches, because it was faster on all the modifications and half the, half the operations and modifications, then that comes out better. Now in our particular project, that means critical pass the best one because we, we write a prescription into the directory, the pharmacist retrieves it, Okay, the pharmacist then modifies the prescription, writes it back again, and then the PPA retrieves it. So we've got, we've got sort of two, two writes um, and two re two retrieves, so it looks that for our particular use, critical path would be would be the best one. Um, but if uh, if you've got a large database of 10 million over, then uh, Sunai Planet. Now we've talked to the critical path people, and they say well, they don't understand why they've got this drop off because they say when they've done their own testing, they they find they can continue to beat Sun One, uh, but they may be doing special tailing or they put new hard disks or whatever, but we're just using exactly the same equipment. Yeah? Uh, my question is, um, uh, how did the uh, hardware and uh, operating system differ from ah, right, yes. yeah, for G each platform? Right. The, 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 it, was a, it was a dual use system, so that it ran Linux and it ran Windows. And so we had to use whichever operating system was appropriate for the particular product. Right. So, so for, for OpenLDAP, it would be running under uh, Linux, but with Linux. Microsoft Active Directory, it would be running under Windows. Uh, what I haven't done is put a slide which says which one was exactly running under which platform, uh -huh. which is the question you're asking. So the short answer is I don't know. And the, uh, the, the iPlanet was running on uh, Solaris? No, no, no. They're all running. No, no, absolutely not. No, they're all running on the uh, on the uh, on the uh, Dell machine. So they're running either under Linux or, or Windows. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we only had those two operating systems, it was and it was a dual boot one. So you could either choose to bring it up under Linux or choose to bring it up under Windows, and we used it for whichever product we were you know, using. Okay. 
So these are the conclusions overall. Critical path was fastest at modifying and fastest in mixed tests up to 100K. So, but you have to pay for it. So I suppose that, you know, that didn't come into our ballpark because for a commercial organisation that's doing prescriptions, then I think the cost of the software is probably negligible in the overall running cost of the, of the operation. But so, Sun One was a top performer, over a million entries, uh, and it was also one of the fastest at searching for smaller trees. And that one you can get free as well, so that's probably a, a, a good directory choice for people uh, in this audience. Uh, IBM and Microsoft Active Directory are only average performers, so that unless you've got some other reason for using them, then we'd say, well, you know, don't, don't use them. Uh, Open and LDAP was one of the fastest search. So we, we've talked about this from worst performance for modifications, but people in the audience have now said there's a new back end coming for Open and LDAP, and with that new back end, that should help to rectify those modification performances. And Syntegra was fast, uh, fastest to bulk load. It was very, very impressive at that bulk load. I mean, it was just unbelievable that it would load so fast. Uh, interestingly, Syntegra doesn't have a native storage format. So its native format for backups and restores is LDIF, whereas all the other products have got some native format that they bulk load stuff down and retrieve it from, which will obviously be faster than LDIF. But we couldn't do mix and match tests, and, and because the software would only produce LDIF files anyway, we had to do LDIF, store, LDIF load for all of them. Um, so that was, that's very, very impressive for Syntegra. And then Novel was too slow. Um, after the first couple of tests that we just discounted using it anymore. There's just one last slide from the administrator's point of view. This is the guy who was doing the tests. He said all products were easy to install except Open LDAP. Because Open LDAP, you know, you don't get all these nice clicky GUIs, but you actually get a bunch of C code that you have to compile and, and do it all. So, so he, didn't, he didn't like that. He thought that was a pain. Um, all were relatively easy to administer, but once you got Open LDAP going, it then became as easy to administer using the, the, the command line as, as the other ones. Um, except Microsoft Active Directory, and he said, I'm just shocked because Microsoft's, you know, showing the world is that easy to use software, and we have all these GUIs and these wizards and everything, and we make it very easy for people to manage stuff. But he said, it was the worst a lot to manage was Microsoft Active Directory from his perspective. Um, and also, uh, you couldn't run the tests as is uh, because Microsoft got these weird schemas and weird rules. We had to edit the files after we'd been generated. We had to manually edit the LDIF files and change the schema or whatever to get them things loaded in. So, so it was a bit of a pain was to Microsoft Tech to direct all in all. Okay, and that's it. So that's, we've definitely done, done it within the time period. Are there any other questions? I, I had, may have one or two, but yeah. Peter? Uh, what, what are we... Please wait for the microphone. Sorry, if we can get the microphone. More, more a remark than a question. Uh, the problems with Active Directory might be because that is not really a standard LDAP. They yeah. have, uh, don't, don't have concepts like auxiliary object classes and so on. So, uh, yeah, you, you, you might have even uh, deleted that from your tests yeah. if you wanted to have 100% uh, absolutely, absolutely, LDAP. You're absolutely yeah. right. I mean, there are other things it can't do. So, for example, you can't store multi-valued RDNs yes. in, in, yeah. in Active Directory as well, and that's one of the things we're looking at with certificates. So there are a number of things where it's non-compliant to the LDIF spec, but the point is it's given free with Windows 2000, and so, you know, everybody's got it, so I'll, I'll potentially have it. So, David, will we rerun the tests with... Um, Windows 2003 server? No, we, 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 I mean, the project runs out, finishes in September, so I doubt we'll be doing any more tests. I, I doubt we'll even be doing the open directory with the new back end either. I mean, you know, the project is, is coming towards the end of its lifetime now, so we've got other um, stuff to do. I'd like to uh, ask to Peter, um, do you have any data on the performance test with the new database back end for Open Elder? So uh, at the last ITF, there was the um, Open LDAP Developers Day, and there was a very good um, uh, presentation about this new hierarchical data uh, uh, backend. And, and the, the idea was we have a hierarchical data structure, and why not have the uh, backend as well, uh, hierarchical as well? And, um, well, I, I, I don't have the figures in my mind, but uh, if you look at the... Open LDAP Developers Day uh, site, you will see the presentation. It was Howard Chu who made that presentation and, and who is developing this hierarchical data backend as well. I have a 
So in your server configuration, you had 512 megabytes of memory. Is that a reasonable memory configuration when you start talking about a million or ten no, million? No, no. In fact, in fact, that's probably why the uh, the critical path one started to uh, tail off. I would guess. And do you think that applies to Novell and even OpenLDAP? Yeah, it could, it could do. Could do. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but so it is interesting it, that some did perform yeah. well. Yeah, in a, uh, yeah. In, it was probably a minimal memory configuration yeah. for yeah. that size. That's memory. right. Yeah, you're right. It is. It is probably minimal minimal memory, memory configuration. Um, but I mean, the thing is, you're, you're obviously not going to change change the configuration of the machine to suit the suit the product because then the tests are not comparative. You have to use the same same environment to do all the tests in to get a fair comparison. Fair. Yeah. Okay. Um, as a general comment, to everyone. We may wonder why we would want to consider running directories with a million objects in them because, I mean, who of us except for very large institutions have millions of people? But keep in mind that we're talking about directories that are not going to be just people. You know, you may want to put printers, computers, um, vehicles, books, whatever you can think of in the directory. So as, as we are in the infancy of directories, I think this kind of work is very important to prove the utility of a directory and that these, these things do scale, especially to those who have to provide services to millions of people like an entire state or an entire country. Mm. That, that's right. And in fact, the National Health Service has, has had a directory strategy for about 10 years and its original strategy was that hospitals would have their own directories and they would all link together in an X500 type world to, pr to produce a, a global directory for the NHS service. And that's got thousands of locations and, and hundreds of thousands of staff but they've since changed to have a centralized strategy now they're having one director and they're putting all the hospitals and all the staff and everything in the one place so I think that is the trend um, because performance shows and I don't know if you remember the original results from the DOD but the DOD built the one of the biggest distributed directories didn't they um, it was the biggest contract that was ever launched for directory services in, 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 the, in the 90s and they built this big distributed directory with loads of X500 servers and they were, they were finding that when they went chaining through you know half a dozen servers it's taking 30 minutes to get the results back literally yeah and uh, and so the DOD again decided this is a wrong strategy we're going to go for bigger centralized ones so I think that the trend is that people go to bigger centralized directories because you get the much better performance and you've seen from those figures there the performances are you know they're very 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 healthy for 10 million entry directories do we have any other questions no? David, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Our next speaker While we get the technical details worked out, our next speaker 